other way. You ran away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Okay. <laughs> Mason, 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 wait, wait, wait. Bedroom, dad, 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 Mason, wait, no, no, don't, 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 don't mess it up, don't mess it up. Stop! That's what a baby does. Not a four year old. It's me. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. Wait, you're wait, 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 wait. yourself. What? No, she's not. She's Honey, are we going to read these books? Come on, let's do it. I have the poopy tree book. All right, let's do it. Remember, remember the, the contest, okay? Okay, okay. All right, let's do it. Okay, so let's, I'm going to quickly explain what we're doing. We're doing, we're reading from two different books. One is a book that's written by a Pulitzer Prize winning poet. And the other is a book that's written by uh, Cousin Max. He's four years old. And... I don't know which is which, and you guys don't know which is which, and so you're gonna have to guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the Pulitzer Prize winning book, uh, book A. No, no, sorry, I, I don't know which is which. Sorry. So, I'm, so the first one, sorry, uh, scratch that. The first one that I'm reading from is gonna be called randomly book A, and the second one is book B. And I'll alternate page by page, and I'll tell you where we're on book A or book B, and and please forgive the the Kim work and. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh honey <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so are you ready <clears throat> so this is this is <laughs> don't hit the phone don't. Did you, what happened honey did you trip <laughs> this is going great here sit here I'm hungry. Can I have a little snack before we start reading? How about... Wait, our... Go is ahead. it still going or did you... Okay. All right, so this is book A. We don't know which one it is. I'm going to read one page. So her. So her. Okay, here we go. Book A. And we don't know which one is th which one is which. Pulitzer Prize winner or four-year-old. I am a woman, 60 years old and of no special courage. Every day, a little conversation with God or his envoy, the tall pine or the grass swimming cricket. Every day, I study the difference between water and stone. Every day, I stare at the world. I push, I push the grass aside and stare at the world. The spring pickerel, in the burn and shine of tight-packed water, the sweetness of the child on the shore, also its radiant temper, the sweetness of the child on the shore, the snail climbing the morning glories, carrying his heavy wheel, the green throats of the lilies turning from the wind. This is the world. Comes the hunter under the red leaves, comes the hounds on their stubbies, like the wind, they pour through the grass. Like the wind, they pour up the hill. They swirl like wind, they twist in the long grass. Every day, I have work to do. Okay, so that's a page of, page of book A. Now we're going to look at page, uh, a page from book B. And again, we don't know if this is <clears throat> written by a four-year-old or a Pulitzer Prize winning poet? Okay. I'm, I'm reading, I'm reading. First, we were going to get a Christmas tree. But we got it, but there were already decoration on it. <laughs> and that Leah wanted, and she got lost in a tree because her was climbing the Christmas tree. And her got stuck in the Christmas tree. And there was a, help! Help! Come, Max! And I came. And there her was, hanging in the Christmas tree. And I shook the tree and she fell down. And then Leah went to her computer because that's what she needed to do so she could cut down the tree. And then her computer cut down the tree. And then her broke the computer. 
computer broke. And then her needed to get a new computer, but now her took the stuff off and put new decorations on. And then her came to my house, and then we needed to go to both houses, Leah to my house and I to her house, and Leah to the other Leah's house. And then Mousy got on the train, and then we all are ready to go, and then we do water fight, and that's the end. Okay, now we're gonna go and read another, that was book B. And now we're going to go back and we are going to do another page. We're going to do another page. Can we skip the quiz at the end? Mm-mm, nope. I think we're going to get my... I feel my body rising through the water, not much more than a leaf. And I feel the child crazed by beauty or filled to bursting with woe. And I am the snail in the universe of leaves trudging upward. And I am the pale lily who believes in God, though she has no word for it. And I am the hunter, and I am the hounds, and I am the fox, and I am the weeds of the field. And I am the tunnel and the coolness under the earth. And I am the paw print in the dust. And I am the dusty road. I am the dusty toad who looks up unblinking and sees, do you also see them? The white clouds in their blind, round-shouldered haste. I am a woman, 60 years old, and glory is my work. Okay, so that was book, book A. Now we're going to do that. We're going to do this one now for, from book B, and this one. Um, we don't know. Is, it, is this written by a four-year-old or a Pulitzer Prize winning poet? None of us know. We don't know. So one day, Leah was at home, and her could feel <coughs> all that blowing wind. And so her thought, it must be time to build a Ferris wheel. So her did. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what's happening now. This day, it's happening actually. So Leah decided after her built a Ferris wheel, her should go home, which is fun because in the afternoons, what her does is make something out of airplane wood. So what her did is made the popcorn maker. Because her made that, her didn't know what to do because her couldn't get the piece of metal. Her didn't have any. So her went searching for metal because her's a metal searcher and her got a round piece of metal and that's what her just needed. So because of that, the doctor came over because an animal was jumping on her cage and trying to eat the chickens. And, <laughs> oh, this is sad, this part's sad. And one chicken died, so the doctor was gonna help the chicken get alive again, and it was just eating a little snack. And her must have been curious for Curious George to come because he was going to fish for her. And that's the end. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to read now again from book A, just in case you're just joining us. You have to guess whether this is by a Pulitzer Prize winning author or by a four-year-old, and we don't know either which one is which. But the I think I know. Well, you, you might have a, so you're developing a, a, an idea. Mason, don't, don't tell anybody if you know. Okay. The dreamy heads of the grass in early summer and midsummer, thick and heavy, sparrows swinging on them, they bend down. And when the sparrow sings, its whole body trembles. Later, the pollen shakes free, <coughs> races this way and that way, like a mist full of life, which it is. We stand at the edge of the field, sneezing. <laughs> we praise God or nature according to our determinations. And when the grass curls or breaks, or we cut it, what does that matter? Do you think the grass is growing so wild and thick for its own life? Do you think the cutting is the ending and not also the beginning? This is the world, the pink globes of the peonies, open under the sun's early morning hands. The vine of the honeysuckle perks upward, the fine hold of its design 
did not need to be so wonderful, did it? But it is. Mason, I feel like no, you're not totally paying to attention. So Mason, funny. you're not totally paying attention right now, so that's a little bit hurtful. Yep. Okay. <coughs> so now I'm going to read two short stories, short excerpts, I mean, from book B. And again, we don't know, is this written by a four-year-old? Is this written by a Pulitzer Prize winning poet? And this is for you to decide. <coughs> First, we were driving to the train house so we can go on a train. But then we are there. We hear a woo, and that was our train, and her quick ran to it, and then we go on the train, and the train flew over a brick and went into a swimming pool <laughs> and went woo, and all the people <laughs> fell off, even us. And then we went back to the train house. Read this one. So now, <coughs> we go to Leah jumping. Leah was sitting and home and then heard a boom, <coughs> a boom, a boom, and then her looked outside and somebody was jumping. What happened? Raccoon was jumping on her chicken coop <coughs> to get them and eat them. And then Leah ran outside and catched the raccoon with a net and her but another net on them like this, her captured it and her threw it in the trash. <laughs> and said, ooh, and, and, uh, so she, uh, and her captured it and threw it in the trash. And then the trash man said, ooh, an animal in the trash. Yuck, it smells like stink. <laughs> and a doctor came to see what was happening and Leah went back to sleep. And then the trash man said, give this to the doctor and he will help get it alive again. And then Leah got into the dump because her was in trouble about sneaking into the house because her couldn't get in there. <laughs> okay, so that was it. That was, the two, that was the two books. And what you have to decide is which one, book A, and book B, which one was by the four-year-old and which one was by Mary Oliver, the, poet, the Pulitzer Prize winning poet? Do you guys have a guess? This guy is from the poet. This is the poet? Yeah, that's the poet and this is the four-year-old. And this is by the four-year-old? Yeah, this is by the four-year-old. How do you, why do you think that? Because we knew it. And why do you think it? Because we knew it. Okay, so they, that's not fair because you guys knew already. Then. Would you have guessed that same thing if you didn't know it before? Would you have guessed the same way? Yep. What about you? Yeah. Okay. Well, these guys would have gotten it. I would have. I would have probably guessed wrong. Can you?